Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Collector's Edition Starfire made by McFarlane Toys. Ah uh, yes. A figure that we have fetched, that we actually wanted from McFarlane Toys. So yeah, so take a look at the packaging. You can see it's just a standard looking DC Multiverse packaging similar to the um the build figure wave and you can see the window exposing the figure and the accessories and so on the bottom it says DC Multiverse Starfire McFarlane Collector's Edition well I will get to that later on 22 moving parts of articulation McFarlane Toys logo on the side it says Starfire and she's based on the DC Rebirth other side it's just her name on the back there's the image, the artwork image of Starfire. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's take out Starfire out of the, the package. Here is Starfire out of the package. So let's take a closer look at the figure. Well, before, well, you can see this figure does is on her display stand. Well, because without it, let me try to take it off. There we go. She cannot stand because of her, well, plastic her gigantic plastic hair so yeah well at least she does come with a flight stand it might display her flying so anyways take a look at her head sculpt here i would say they did really a not too bad of a job with her head sculpt it looks exactly like how she is in the comics well again just like before i only knew her from the original teen titans teen titans go and the and the um the Titans TV show. So yeah. Still looks pretty good. Look not too bad at all. Not too bad. You can see the green eyes right there. Supposedly glowing. And her hair looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. And you can see the long hair. Very Starfire-ish going on on her. Uh, take a look at her outfit here. Well, from, from the reviews I've heard of this figure that... Some of the some of the arms and legs are reissued from the Catwoman Night uh, Nightfall, I believe, or something. I forgot. So yeah, I can see why. I can totally see that why. Yeah, the arms are the same. Everything is the same. Well, not everything. Well, only the arms and legs are the same. Yeah, like the the high boots there on her and the heels as well. So yeah, I'm guessing like the whole, the body here is different is brand new because of the added or maybe like the upper body there because of the added gem right there on her top of her top a top of her chest area there so yeah and the pair of fisted hands on there you can see a little scope of details there uh nothing much on the, the the high boots area but there's like little wrinkles to it and and you can the heels right there a little lines painted there and on the bottom there's two peggles in the bottom of her feet there as well overall for the figure itself it's still pretty good not too bad at all not too bad yeah it's a really a, a great sculpt on this figure even though despite being reissued from the catwoman figure it's still really a not too bad looking figure articulation there's a there's no ro fully rotation on the on the head just because of it hindered it stops at the her hair the arms do go fully rotate, does go in and out. No, well, a little bit of a bowl jointed there. Upper arm rotation. Double jointed at the elbows. Like so. There's the lower wrist rotation. Hinge, upper wrist rotation there as well. And there's the upper waist rotation and lower waist rotation ball joining there as well legs kick forward and back in and out a little bit of the upper leg rotation double jointed at the knees almost kicking her behind there's a little rotation at the ankles pivot forward back ankle pivot side to side and toe articulation there so yeah just a standard dc multiverse articulation but you can still give her some a decent amount of access possibilities. Moving on to accessories, she does quite come with the effects here. 
that can I you can actually slide on her hands like so just like that let me do this the other side well one hand is, won't stay won't stay up so unless if you use sticky tack so let's leave that one here and just like any other flying action figure DC figures that McFarlane has made she does come with a fly stand that she can either put on her legs or her waist there and she does come with a trading card and you can see the image of the character and take a look at the back there's a data file real name coriander and here's a little bio about the character. Go ahead, pause the video if you want to read it. And for the card itself, she does come with the display, the card display, which from what I heard originally similar, like originally supposed to be come with a card display with every DC multiverse figures. But the only one that comes with it was King Shark. But now in the collector's edition. So yeah. Yeah, it looks um very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I really like the idea, like, putting the cards there instead of, like, you know, we have to put them in there and put, like, next to the figure, like so. Yeah, it very reminds me of the old, another toy line that McFarlane, that Todd McFarlane used to make a long time ago. Well, I reviewed only two figures based on that toy line. I really wish they come, I really wish they haven't done, do that with the other, with that, that, that toy line that McFarlane revived. Well, except they're not horror figures. So, yeah. But overall, for the figure itself, I'd say this, this figure looks pretty cool. This figure is pretty pretty good. Yeah, the figure itself is really, really great. The articulation, which is a standard DC Multiverse, McFarlane Toys articulation. The uh, But still, you can give her some decent amount of posibilities. Sculpting-wise, looks good. Everything on this figure looks perfect. I really like she came with like the effect hands, but they won't stay on me very, very well. I really like how she came with like the the card holder that you can easily display her with next to her with a card. So yeah, I really wish she came with like a pair of alternate hands. You know, the open alternate hands, so have her display with the the effects that she comes with. But overall, I say this figure, yeah, it's a definitely a must-have for your collection. And I am aware there is a chase variant of the Blackfire figure. So I'm going to keep a, a hunt on that figure. And now for the major problem is this figure is retail for 30 bucks. Yeah, 30 bucks. I mean, to be honest, I don't quite see the worth for $30 for a, a $20 figure. I mean, the display, the display stand maybe? No. I don't, I don't think it's this, this display, the, um, this card holder thing. I mean, I really wish that McFarlane should retail the collector's edition for, like, 25 bucks. You know, the same price as the, as the, um, the Build-A-Figure line. But, you know, Todd, being all greedy, sell the figure for 30 bucks. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't see it's worth 30 bucks for this figure. I do have the Penguin. I do bought only two of them, her and Penguin. Which I'm probably my review later very soon. So yeah, for for thirty bucks, yeah, I don't think it's really worth thirty thirty bucks. The figure is cool, it's perfect, but definitely not worth the thirty bucks. So yeah, I really de definitely recommend getting this figure for and when it's go on clearance. Yeah, for my rate, I'm gonna give the star uh, the Starfire figure a. I'll give it like an eight out of ten just because of the. the the $30 price range. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram and threads. Both links will be in the, will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Collector Edition Starfire figure made by McFarlane Toys. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.